Hi, this is Craig Forzani with another Don't Miss the Point of Business video. Um, I just want to talk today about, and this is an interesting saying, uh, it's a saying I came up with, but if you think about this saying, uh, and I'll pause after I say it to give you a minute to digest it and think about what it means, but it's, you sell what you buy, or you sell what you provide. So what does that mean? The saying's meant to talk about you know, one of the key points of the profit and loss statement is your gross margin, or some people would say gross profit, same thing. Meaning, your gross margin has to basically cover your expense percent and the net profit percent that you wanna make in your company. So if your expenses are 30% of revenue um, and you wanna make a 10% net profit at the bottom, then you need a 40% gross margin. So you need to build your product or service mix so that when it all sells after discounts and markdowns, you're at 40% gross margin at the end of the year or quarter or whatever term you're, whatever period of time you're measuring. So think about it. When you're buying products, if you, if you buy and sell products, when you're building services and, and laying them out in a menu and a catalog and deciding what you're gonna sell and what the price points are gonna be, the gross margin at the end of the year after markdowns and discounts needs to equal your expenses plus your net profit that you'd like to achieve based on your revenue. So you get to decide that, you get to build it, you get to buy it. Um, it's pretty easy when it comes to services because you just pick your how you price your product based on what we just talked about. When it comes to products, you need to look at brands and product lines and categories and SKUs and styles and colors and sizes that after markdowns are going to achieve that gross margin percent that you're looking for. Now, in some cases, it might be a blended gross margin, meaning you might buy a bunch of products in a certain size run in certain colors and you're, you know, initially you plan on making 50% gross margin, but after all the discounts and markdowns, uh, it blends down to maybe 42. Well, if your expenses are 30 and you want your net profit to be 10, then 42 works. So to be able to accomplish all this, number one, you gotta have a good reporting system so that you know what those gross margins are for those products, services, brands, whatever it is. Um, and, and you need to look at them. And then that needs to drive your decisions on either how you price your product or what services you provide or what products or brands you buy to resell. Again, you get to manufacture this. So focus on you sell what you buy or provide.